All right then, so we have seen the calculus of differential forms in 3D. We've worked with dx, dy, dz, all that good kind of stuff, but come on. You don't want to stop there, do you? Let's keep going. Let's work in arbitrary space. Let's work in n dimensions and develop a more general theory of differential forms. And then let's put it to use. So instead of examples, like we did for forms in 3D, working explicitly with dx, wedge, dy, stuff like that, let's start off with an abstract definition of what a k-form on Rn is. Now this is going to be a little bit abstract, but it makes sense. A one-form eats a vector, spits out a number. A two-form eats two vectors, spits out a number. A k-form eats k vectors and spits out a scalar. So we're going to start with linear k-forms on Rn. A linear k-form on Rn is an alternating, multilinear, scalar-valued function on k-tuples of vectors in Rn. Let's say that this k-form is alpha, then it eats vectors v1, v2, all the way up through vk in that order, the order matters, and it spits out a scalar. And it does so in a manner that is alternating and multilinear. What does alternating mean? That means that if you switch two of the input vectors, then the output changes its sign. Just like, let's see, where have I seen something like that before? Oh yeah, just like the scalar triple product, right? You reverse one of the things, the output changes sign. Now, multilinear means that it's a linear function in each of the input vectors. So if I hold all the other vectors constant and I double v3, then that means the output doubles. And again, this is just like the way the scalar triple product works. It's just like the way that, oh, I don't know, a determinant works. Hmm. Now that's the abstract definition. We're going to have to do a little bit more work to make it concrete. 